Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Apple iPhone 5 and we're going to be taking a look at the Spigen SGP Glass T Premium Tempered Glass Screen Protector for this device. Now you can pick this up in the States for about $27, $28 depending on where you get it from and here in the UK it's about £21, £22 again depending on where you get it from. So we'll just get the iPhone put down there for a second and just get this busted open see what we get inside. As ever you get a hologram in the top left of the box itself just symbolising that the product is authentic from Spigen SGP. Along the back you get a quick overview of what the features of the device are and what it actually includes out the box. So we'll just get this busted open because there's a seal just right there. So we just get that score down and it should just open straight up as it does there here we go so you get a looks like a, a disinfectant cloth there just to clean the device you've got a squeegee a plastic squeegee it's not a rubber one so I'll leave that there as well you've got a serial number there where you can check the authenticity of the product from Spigen's website itself you've got six home buttons there that you can choose from two black two white a pink and a lime greenish one there that you can customize the device with and you've got the standard microfiber cloth there from Spigen. Nothing on the left hand side because that's all there was. So we'll just get that propped open. Nothing else in there so we can get rid of the packaging. This will be the screen protector itself, the tempered glass screen protector. So if we just get that opened up, you only get one of these in the device. There's nothing else in there. And if I just get that at the sleeving, then it comes in there. Obviously you've got the cutout for the home button there the earpiece along the top and you've got the, the back removable tab there that you can use to get the back off there. Now it's not very flexible as you can see obviously because you'd sm snap it so obviously you've got a little tab there to get off the front part as well. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. I'm just going to switch the phone off so it doesn't get annoying while I'm playing around and get the screen protector on so we'll just swipe that off. I'm just going to use the alcohol infused swab here just to clean anything that's left on the device itself so while that's switching off we just get that the device isn't too dirty but it always helps to just give it a clean anyway now we're just going to use a microfiber cloth just to dry it all down the device is all dry now by using the microfiber cloth so we're just going to bring the screen protector itself here and just remove the entire back part all in one go because it's not bendable there's no point in just removing half of it and so I'm just going to remove all of it all in one go we'll just see how far I can do this or how well I can do this through the screen of the camera itself by aligning first of all the earpiece and then the home button through the screen protector itself excellent screen protector is on so I'm just going to use a squeegee and go from center outwards Excellent, that's now on and I'm just going to switch on the device as that boots up. I'm just going to pull a little tab along this side to take off the front cover. Oh yeah, excellent. I'm just going to use one of the little home buttons, pop it in that little slot there. I'm just going to use a white one, see if we can get it dead straight at all. buttons working as you'd expect I think that's gone on pretty well to be fair I can't see any bubbles anywhere along the screen itself apart from this corner here hopefully you can see that in a little bit of the light it looks like a little bit of condensation underneath it but as you touch it, it goes away so the instructions do state that it may disappear over the next couple of days or so but I'll leave that alone see what it does but there's nothing on the screen itself which is the main part really that I was concerned with so that's gone on really really well so what we're going to do now is just put the screen to sleep to show you there's no scratches or anything like that that you can see on the screen I'm just going to hit it with the average things like you have in your pocket so I've got keys here so see if it does anything at all Some residue off the keys itself. No scratches that I can see there. So it stood up to the keys test pretty well. Now let's go a stage further with some scissors, pointy scissors I've got here. So I'd never try this on the screen of the normal iPhone because I'm pretty sure I would just kill it. Again, I've got 
some dust and stuff off it. Let's just get rid of that. Let's have another look. Nice scratches again that I can see. That works really, really well. So let's go a stage further now. I've got a knife, so I give that a go. A dirty knife for that, so. Again, nothing on the screen itself. I was quite amazed. I thought the knife would do the trick, but obviously not. I've got a tub of nails. I'm going to try. Uh, let's have a look. As you can see, just a uh, nail. Let's clear it off. Let's have a look. Can't see anything there. Nope, nothing. So I've got a bunch of them there, so let's try a bunch of nails. Okay, we've got a bunch of crap from the tub of nails itself, so we'll get that off. So there's some dust in the earpiece, but we'll get that out later. Again, in the home button, but no scratches that I can see. Plenty of dust and stuff. Again, no, no scratches. Okay, let's move those nails and stuff out of the way. There, uh, got another bunch of nails. Well, I'll say nails, screws that I could try. So get those open. Slightly longer screws. Um, again, I'll screw it. Slightly less screws in this, so just tip the box off. Uh, so that does. Okay, again, dusty, so get the dust and crap off. I can't see any scratches. on the screen itself but I think I can see the glass cracking if I bring that in so you can see it a little bit better along the top there it's cracked along the top and along the side I think there yeah there's I can feel it on my fingers yeah there's a little crack there but nothing on the screen itself just move those out of the way itself now for the final test Axe time. Let's have a look. No scratches on the cover itself. I'm going to give that a little harder whack. scratches at all on the screen and the screen of the device is still responsive as it was previously button presses still work home button still works as normal I'm really impressed with how well that's held up to be fair apart from the crack along the the top of the camera just above the camera as you can see there and you can feel it as you put your finger across it there's a slight crack there and along the right hand side just there again you can't feel that one as much that's more visual you can see it but apart from that there's nothing on the screen itself that's held up really well and considering you wouldn't normally throw a tub of nails or two tubs of nails on your smartphone itself that's held up really well and also the axe at it as well I was thinking the axe may make the cracks even bigger but it didn't so that's held up really really well I'm well impressed with that. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.